Okay, now that I've fixed the exposure issue, because I had it still set to, uh, well, sand and snow, beach and snow. Um, <clears throat> this is the current uh, temporary resting place for the D-Link for now. It is running, um, not really doing much, even though it kind of looks like it. Uh, I spent a couple of days compiling stuff for it, and I finally hit the brick wall where I can't get anything done until I get my Max 3232 serial um, converter adapter in the mail. So, it's just kind of sitting. I'm probably going to shut it off. Uh, blue stuffed animal is a deadhead bear. So... <laughs> It's sitting on top of what was my, um, this was a, a dual drive raid, um, my book at one point, it was, um, like Pro Edition 2 or something weird like that, uh, and that's just sitting on top of the cable box for now. Uh, I've got my UPS right next to that, and to the left of that is, um, my Pogo plug before with the 80 gig drive underneath. In the little mount that I made, and um, the 320 MyBook, which is hooked up to the D-Link right now, uh, so I can make a backup of the uh, Debian uh, folder, so that I can like. Well, I have to make that drive um, ext3 right now. It's, it's yeah, it's ext2, and I don't like the entire thing of it not being journaled. Yeah. Um, yeah. Danger 180 watt max. Is that really danger? More like uh, caution. But if I make it say danger, nobody will touch it. <laughs> that's pretty much what I've learned. Uh, cable modem and the routers up there. I've got one up there that's acting as the actual gateway for the house, which is the white one, the the D Link. Um, I think that's 625 or something along those lines. 825. I forget. Um, so I think it's an 825 uh, version B1. Uh, it's the, not the good one, so it doesn't have IPv6 and stuff, which I do have currently support for in the cable modem and stuff. It was turned on, but I just don't have IPv6, uh, through the router. And then I've got one that's actually doing the wireless brunt of everything. So, that means that the main gateway doesn't have to worry about running Wi-Fi and shit, and it just has to worry about, uh, taking care of IP addresses and stuff. Sorry, I'm moving my arm around here. I'm leaning on it and it's getting tired because I have the camera in my hand. Um, and this neck gear here, which is my uh, WNR 2K that I've had for quite a long time, my 2K V2, um, that is uh, the one that's serving up an N300 uh, access point right now. Uh, it's still uh, got DDWRT on it. I haven't flashed it over to Tomato yet, I probably won't. Um, cable mode is the same UB one that I've had for a long time, like, almost five years now. Um, that's really much it. I've got my Optiplex 760 down there, and of course I've got the Pogo Plug. And the Pogo Plug, um, that's running Arch Linux ARM with a 3.16 kernel right now, and I've been running that kernel for almost, uh, 150 days. The um, Optiplex 760 has an uptime of 200 days as of today. Actually, 200 something days. I don't know, I, I forget. Uh, but I have to shut down the Pogo plug later because I'm going to heat sink the main chip, which is a Marvel Kirkwood. Uh, so RMV 5L. Uh, that's about it. I've got a little 486 and a voltage converter here that I'm just. Uh, uh, 486 of 5x86 133 and that's about it um i just wanted to go and do a little quick video here to show how much of a mess it currently is because it's going to be cleaned up soon i just haven't had the chance with everything uh going wonky and stuff uh these past couple months and then uh, my corolla going out of whack and i'm still trying to find time to do that in the meantime i'm still trying to find time to clean up the mess which is the home network uh, that includes, um, probably, um, getting a better router that can actually handle gigabit IPv6, and maybe N300, N450, and 900 maybe, if I can afford something like that in the near future. 
Um, we'll see. Uh, once I get the D-Link going uh, with the serial connection, I'm probably going to either do one of two things, which is going to be uh, get all the stuff that I need for it, compile kernel 3.2 and compile kernel 2.6, boot, uh, try to flash both of them and boot them. And if I can do that, and only if I can do that, then I'm going to probably do an HD boot of Debian Wheezy, because all the drivers that are in this thing are in kernel 2.6.25 onward. Everything on the PCI bus is in it. So, I just don't think I'm going to have a problem with that. My only concern is going to be um, getting the LEDs and the power buttons and stuff to work, because the LEDs and the power button are both controlled inside by an internal 8085 uh, chip, a little tiny microprocessor, and I don't know how to work that. Okay, so that ends my video. I'm really tired. I'm going to sleep, actually. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh.